Hello my dear friends, you're in the military summary channel and this short video we're going to discuss the most important events that took place during the previous night of the local time. And first we're going to talk about Kherson direction. The Russians reported that as a result of air defense work they managed to shut down the Ukrainian Su-25 in Kherson area. The Ukrainian Su-25 that they were using to support and uh, to attack the Russian force, the Russian offensive forces in Krynki. As you know during the previous few days the Russians made lots of attacks to attack the Ukrainians in this area and we have adjusted the map showing the Russian progress once again the Russians are pushing the Ukrainians from the south now west of the village and from the northeast and as a result of those attacks some territories some buildings or ruins were captured by the Russians the Ukrainians from their side continue publishing the videos of movements and redeployment of Russian forces from one building to another from one ruins to another which confirms complete Russian mm, progress and complete Russian control over this territory at least over this territory when talking about uh, any uh, geolocated or videos of the use of FA 500 during the previous night we haven't received even a single one during the next video evening video i will publish you i will give you some analysis regarding this fact because we have more facts about the complete absence of usage of fab and i believe that it is going to be very interesting uh, the russians try to compensate the absence of fab by attacking the ukrainians with multi-launch rocket systems of course this is not the same firepower but at least it's something in comparison with nothing furthermore the russians uh, try to compensate not just with multi-launch rocket systems but also with Tosla and Trower systems. Now we are moving to the Parogia area, to the Bradley Square or Bradley Cake. We have a lot of very interesting details and updates from this territory. Most of the mappers have already updated their maps showing maps showing the Russian progress. And as we discussed, currently the Russians are trying to attack the Ukrainians in three directions: in direction of the base of Rabotina, yeah, the Russians are trying to attack in uh, in direction of the fields between Rabotina and Verbova, and the Russians are planning. They haven't started yet, but soon we're gonna receive. I believe some updates of Russian attacks on the north of Verbova and according to the Russian sources the Ukrainians are running away from this territory. Uh, the Russians are saying that Ukrainians are withdrawing their positions and they're not just withdrawing, they're running and they're dropping and they're leaving their ammo, their armored vehicles, so it's like uh, it's like a very difficult situation for them. Once again, most of the mappers have updated their maps showing the Russian progress in many directions. Uh, we'll see what is going to be next. Now we are moving to South Donetsk direction. As you can see, I have updated the map showing the Russian foothold on the eastern part of the village. Today, I believe we're going to receive more updates of the Russian progress in this area. And currently, according to geolocations we have, the Russians can attack the Ukrainians from many directions, at least from three local positions uh, to the uh, south and at least from one position to the east. Obviously, today we can expect the Russian movements and progress on the southeastern area somewhere from here there, there might be because it's like a suitable position for further offensive operation of the russian forces something like this when talking about the northern direction of the same uh, of attack in the same area uh, there are very heavy clashes uh, between uh, the strongholds as we discussed this is the first uh, the important ukrainian stronghold area this is the second one that is uh, still under ukraine control and this is uh, the third ukrainian fortification area uh, that is a very huge huge and big problem and barrier for the Russians. During the previous night, the Russians continued their offensive operation along this tree line and the Russian sources published the video of another attack and as a result of another attack, they managed to capture more tree lines, more Ukrainian strongholds, positions, shelters and the Russians continued advancing further to the south, trying to dig in deeper between these two Ukrainian fortifications area and this morning we got uh, this is the Russian infantry and troopers who were moving along the trenches this is you can see a very long trench and they're moving along there and this night this morning and this night the russian sources reported that ukrainians launched a massive counter-offensive operation and the ukrainians uh, tried to concentrate their forces somewhere here somewhere along this uh, let's say industrial area or something like this and from these positions the ukrainians were trying to counter-attack the russians trying to force them to step back and not so allow them to dig in deeper along these three lines currently we don't know the results of that attack but obviously the ukrainians 
it's the vital questions for the question for the Ukrainians. If they lose this foothold between Pobeda and this northern uh, fortification area in Novomikhailovka, the entire area might be collapsed automatically. Now we are moving to Marinka, and according to some sources, including deep state map and Syriac, the Russians continue advancing further to the west in the in direction of Georgievka, and according to um, lots of reliable mappers, the Russians managed to establish control over something like this. So this is the current progress of the Russians on Marinka direction, yet uh, we haven't updated the military summary map when talking about the colors, but uh, we, we have report from very reliable resources so that's why i believe that the eastern part of Gyurevka might be colored into the gray zone or contested area we will update the map before the next video now we are moving to Avdiivka area and we have also lots of updates once again just uh, the ma mappers no geolocated videos according to information we have according to the most of the mappers the russians managed to improve their positions in direction of Achiretina, and currently the russians established managed to establish control over something like this and as you can see this is a very very big progress of the russian army on this direction the russians by these uh, movements um, managed to get as close as possible to uh, the residential area between the railways or uh, the area of responsibility of 31st mechanized brigade the russians managed to get as close as possible to nova kalinova so like the, the first streets and the buildings can be seen by the soldiers on the ground and uh, we also are going to change not just the map and to color this territory as a contested area. From the other side, the Ukrainians almost every single day publish more and more geolocated videos and photos of destroyed and abandoned Russian vehicles along the railways in front of the eastern on the east of Stepova. On these scenes, we can see another FPV drone strike against the Russian forces. This is another armored vehicle that was destroyed. So from one side, we see that the Russians do have progress to the north in direction of Achiret and Nova Kalinova, at least according to the mappers and updates. But from the other side, we see that the Russians have some prob problems in this part, while the Ukrainians are trying to counterattack and not to allow the Russians to develop their offensive operation further. So very interesting situation. Now we are moving to Bakhmut uh, Artyomov's direction. Once again, according to information we have, as we discussed yesterday, the Russians have just launched their clearing and offensive operation in direction of the cemetery, this one. But so uh, most of the mappers, including like pro-Ukrainian, have already updated their map showing that uh, currently this territory is under complete uh, Russian control. So for now we will keep this territory as is, but I'm not saying that there is no such progress. Obviously the Russians managed to do this. We just need to get more geolocations. And as you can see, the Russians got as close as possible to Popovsky Forest, to this fortification stronghold hilt, and uh, the battle, we can say that the battle for this area has started. And now we are moving further to the Kupiansk and Liman front lines. As you can see, there are no changes uh, during the previous night. So as I understand, we're going to receive some updates for today. The only video we got is that the Ukrainians uh, FPV drone strikes against the Russian infantry on the line between Ivanovka and uh, Yahidna. So which confirms that this territory is still uh, in the gray zone. So this is the videos of PV drone strikes, so nothing special, just adjustments of map according to the ge geolocations. And that's it for the short video. Military Summer Channel reminds we condemn any violence in the world. Thank you for your watching. Subscribe to my channel, put your likes to my Patreon, and have a good day. Bye-bye.